Hello Capricorns. This is your reading for May 21st through May 31st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see, we're going to do a Celtic cross for you guys. Let's see. Capricorn. What love messages do we have for Capricorn? What's around you right now is a Ten of Swords feeling betrayed. Um, Gemini energy here. Feeling stabbed in the back. It's almost like um, you didn't see something coming. What is this? Let's see. A breakup, a committed relationship. You, you, I'm feeling that there is a betrayal um, in a long-term connection here. Virgo energy is there. You're feeling like somebody does not have your back or either somebody's feeling this way about you. Hmm. The underlying issue here is a page of pentacles. I'm feeling there's something that you feel that did not get off the ground the way that you want it to. It's like you want to pursue something else or do something else. I'm thinking that you're trying to get past something. There's something that I'm feeling like um, you guys are having a hard time letting go of. Hmm. Let's see what the recent past held. A Knight of Wands energy. I'm, I'm getting that there, there is someone that is in and out. Um, that you feel like does not have your back. Somebody that comes and goes, or either this person is constantly bringing up things from the past. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, energy, I feel. Maybe Aries. But there, there's somebody that you feel like is not all in. Like they could be gone at any given moment. Okay. You're not feeling comfortable at this point in time. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Um, you're feeling hurt, rejected. You're feeling like, um, you know, you're supposed to be in this with me or they're supposed to be in this with me um, and we're supposed to stick together through thick and thin but I'm feeling that that's not how you're feeling right now. You're feeling really like alone reject it you're feeling put off here like your like your home your relationship is breaking up is falling to pieces hmm what's coming in for Capricorn nine of cups happiness Pisces energy here Hmm. You know, I'm getting that there there is an emotional roller coaster going on in this situation. Um, I'm feeling like when you guys are up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down. Um. But I'm getting this sense that you're feeling like this relationship is not giving you what you need. That there is um, there's a sense that I need to make myself happy. I need to do things to make me happy. You know, apart from this connection, this relationship here. Let's see how you're viewing this situation. Temperance. You're just trying to get your shit together. Um, you're trying to get balanced. You're trying to balance out, I feel like, your emotions with your actions. 
um, again, I'm feeling like, you know, when you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. And um, you're trying to regulate how you're feeling, I feel. You're trying to balance out um, your own energy. The Sagittarian energy there. And you're trying to look towards the future, move forward. What is the influence for Capricorn? The Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're working on yourself. And I feel like you're trying to make a, a situation work with someone. But I'm feeling this need coming from you that um, that you want to work on yourself that you need to get yourself together that um, your emotional state your home it's like there's an imbalance you're feeling not only within yourself but within your home and you're trying to work that out um, could definitely be a Virgo uh, Taurus energy here. I'm also getting Sagittarius strongly. Gemini energy. Okay. Your hopes or fears is an Ace of Cups. I'm feeling like you want to be healed. You want to be healed. You also want to be happy with someone. I'm not sure if if you want to be happy within a certain relationship. I'm getting like a disconnect between you and someone else. And almost like you guys want to start over. For some of you. And for others of you, I'm feeling like you know that you have to be happy within yourself first before you can be happy with someone else. Because a nine and the ace of cups is a ten of cups. And so it's like you know there's some healing that needs to happen within you. You know that there is something that you probably need to work on within yourself before you can have the Ten of Cups here. Okay. But there's definitely something new um, that you want to, to start emotionally. Okay. What's the overall outcome here for Capricorn? The King of Cups. Huh. becoming emotionally stable um, I do feel like there is um, a Cancer Scorpio Piscean individual that um, they may not know exactly how you guys are feeling inside because I'm getting that you guys probably internalize a lot of emotions and um, but there's definitely somebody I feel that loves you. Whether you are currently with this person or not. Because again, we do have two tens here, which are endings. Um, so I don't know if you are physically away from this person or whether you have just resigned yourself to believe that it's over. Um, feeling betrayed and feeling a disconnect like you're on your own. But there's somebody that loves you. And that wants to continue to build with you. Okay. But I do see that there is this sense of needing to like regulate your emotions, I feel. Because I feel you up and I feel you down. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon.